Hello, welcome back. Final Fantasy IX on ZPC. I need to move the microphone, which is going to make a strange noise. My apologies. I'm sure that was a very strange noise, and I should have done that before I started the video, but I didn't, so. Let's actually wander off and continue the storyline. I got like A level for a couple of people between this video and the last one, and technically I've now basically preloaded a trance on Zidane as well. Unlike Limit Breaks, you can't actually pick when they happen, so I just have... Well, he's just sat, like, right below trance triggering, so... Yeah, 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 whatever you say, Steiner. Almost like this airship's probably going back to the castle, because it has all these things. Do they look like you? Not really. We have a plan, Dagger. Do not worry. Have faith in the boy with the monkey tail. As Vivi casually walks over, despite this thing lifting off. Also, this signature scene. Everyone likes that signature scene. Now with high def models. Not high def, but higher, I suppose. Game has good music. Probably a good idea. I'll just stand precariously close to the edge of this moving airship. Seems like a remarkably dangerous place. A kiss or two, you say? Oh, well, Vivi's gone insane again. I wonder why. Oh, okay. He's gonna diligently try to talk to this dude and fail horribly. Because they don't talk back. The soulless creatures they only have one job. I tried, and got so far, but in the end, they won't even turn around. That's not quite how that goes. behind all of this. Perhaps, you know, the freaking leader of the, apparently you can just clip through them. Whatever. Whoops. Anything back here? No. Alright. Um, probably the leader of the entire country that is grabbing these things, but you know, whatever. Let's go up to the deck, shall we? Hi, Steiner. What will I say to Queen Braun? Also, hello.
She's downstairs. Yes, yes, we know. We're not actually going back to the castle, though. We can actually interact with the front of this and be like, yo, hello. But again, none of the people on this ship actually respond to anything we'd say, so... must run a background check on them. It's a very strange noise. Also, say hello to this fella. He appears to be upset that the ship is turned around. Also, this is a lot of turning to the right, I'd like to point out. You insolent fool! Hello. I apologize. And now they're leaving. Good story time. He's defeated by a small child. Hello. As they cast basic fire magic. They are no match for him though. As demonstrated thusly. What a cruelty. So there goes Vivi. Vivi auto trances in this fight. Unfortunately, we don't have her during this encounter. But it's alright, because Vivi auto trances, so the fight doesn't actually last very long. I. Just I. Okay. That's fine. You fool! I have this dude's staff. I want his staff. Probably shouldn't have quite preloaded Zidane so much, because I do need to steal. Well, I want to steal, I don't need to steal. But anyway, there goes his trance. Zidane's also going to trance, but I'm probably going to have to blow his on accidentally auto-battling. Because I'm an idiot. So I think I just used... Yeah, I used some of <laughs> Vivi's trance on an auto-attack. God dang it. Oh, there goes Zidane. So when Vivi trances, he gets double black magic, which is actually quite powerful. Also, we have Bandit now, so... This is a thing that's transpiring. 
Zidane, I would like you to trance, but I also need to steal, so... Or, I want you to dine, but I need you to steal. That's what I was going to say there. Vivi's trance doesn't last very long, because he takes two actions per turn. Just, I probably should have focused instead of defended, but I think... There's one boss fight in this game where you can steal three items. But I can't remember what it is. Oh, the fight's over anyway, so... I guess that's all we're stealing. I think we got two items, at least. I don't remember what fight has three, but I think there's one. In the entire game, that has three things you can steal or something. It could be that one, I don't know. I exist only to kill. It's three, Steiner. It's a waltz. It's, it's a waltz. It's, it's three. I like Vivi's response to most things in the world is just adjust his hat. Oh, defeated. Updated character models for these two. I wish it didn't happen, but you know, there you go. We shall depart, and then they just jump off of an airship that's god knows how high. I guess they are basically helicopter heads, so they'll be alright. Anyway, kill, 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 etc, etc. Such confidence. It'll be fine, Captain Dagger. It will be all right. You can go faster, that's the solution to all problems. If you go fast enough, the gate can't close on you. That's how this works. This is not how levers like this work, Steiner, but we'll go with it. And now we lazily float toward the city of Lindblom. Oh, 
And now the ship is going to explode and kill everybody on it. That's alright. Yeah, you pretty much single-handedly destroyed the entire south gate and no one will be able to go through it. Good job. You idiot. I'm glad the music plays during this, too. Let me kneel down in this broken glass on the floor. That was like... That was, that was your vow earlier. You didn't make up your mind. It's literally the same vow. Mr. Chance is a Dane. Yeah, you're basically the same. Yeah. Can confirm. Good job, Steiner. You actually said something useful. Anyway, welcome to Lindblom. Limbloom is the city of airships, if you can't tell. This is a beautiful city. But it's also a city of a whole bunch of nonsense that's going to be going off, so prepare to not leave this place for a while yet. This is truly amazing. I haven't been here since my father passed away. That is an old ship, yes. Hey now, why well you gotta talk bad about our company? Conveniently, if you recall from the very beginning, she left with the pendant. What? I'm not the dude with a loud voice. His response is to get really loud. And there's an important bit of story. That's her uncle. And another important bit of story will be coming up soon. As with most people, she has multiple uncles. Anyway, before we go over there, we're gonna wander off in this direction. We can't do anything down here, I don't think, except talk to people. Hello. You passed the flight test for the new model. Ah. Ah, 
By the way, what's your name? Completely ignore the question. Oh, wait, here we go. My name is Aaron. Okay, Aaron. Then Aaron is going to flee from the scene because Zidane is... a bit too forward there. Anyway, the reason I came over here is actually this room. Which serves as our save room, because I believe there's a Moogle. Yep, there they are. But there's also several treasure chests. And even if you don't come here now, you will be forced to come here later, so... It's not like you can miss these treasure chests or this Moogle, but... I wanted to come here first. I don't think there's anything else in this room we can interact with, though. Give Moggy a letter! You say Koopa way too many times. Where did he go? Okay. He probably did stop. And we have no mail. I have a favor to ask. Deliver a letter to Atla. Okay. And we will... Yeah, we'll go ahead and um, continue some more story. It's only been 20 minutes. Because otherwise I got nothing to do. Is either... Um, actually, can we go back to the town? I don't think we can go back into town quite yet. But either way, the only real option for now is to just continue the storyline. The base level lies below the mist. You can take a trolley to the harbor and the back gate. These are all important tidbits of information. Right, the mid-level is how you get to town, and the upper level is where we're going, and we will not go there unless it's story-related, because I don't think you can go there otherwise, but maybe you can. He's very wise. He and my father did things, and I skipped through that, but my apologies. This dude's eyebrows are glorious. Take a look at the throne. What in the world? Hello. Greetings. His response to overly sized Uglops is to punch it in the face. <laughs> Everyone has such a lovely response. Even the Uglops are big in Lindblom. Enough of your nonsense. I'm Sid Fabul. I, on the other hand, have become a fine ogler. My goodness. He's a thief, not a... not an assassin or something. Sorry about that. Gave you time to read that, I suppose. Considering how quickly I go through dialogue, I do apologize if you read slower than me, but I could read all of this out for you, but it's not how I roll. I read some of it periodically. Ah, it is time for lunch. I recall this bit. It 
Today's special is Super Do Silence. Literally just eating silence drink. Soup. Soup silence. Nice mustache. Also, there's an important character there you probably noticed. How about you and me go for a cruise on an airship? Monkey versus rat, here we go. And here's someone who Zidane's not gonna remember the name of. Your name is Helga. Helga, right? No? No Helga? Christine? Oh, okay. It's <laughs> Rachel. And then it'll bring up this little dialogue. That is Freya, who actually has a left dominant hand, as it turns out. <laughs> Compared to everyone else who has right, I guess that's like an equal ratio to the real world. Most people are right-handed. I'm left-handed, if you're curious. Three whole years. We are actually participating, despite what Zidane says. Says, despite what he says, we are participating in the hunt. There is nothing there for me. For now, though, I think we're more story nonsense, yeah, and then. We get to explore the city for a very brief period or something, something. I don't remember. I don't, I remember the story, but I don't remember the exact sequence of events in some places. Particularly the really story heavy stuff. Like this bit. Which is actually why I was contemplating saving earlier. A suspicious man prowling around the castle, you say. But we have a plot twist. It was Sid who wanted her kidnapped. This is a fair point. Don't want to start a war. I mean, she could just, like, use the mages to shut down your airship fleet, but, you know, I guess if you're that confident, it'll be right. Dagger's uncles are in all the important places. I'm glad it makes that noise every step he takes. I don't understand how that works, but whatever. This is dock number one. There are no airships because there is no research being done. Didn't require mist to fly, you say? A 
Met a lovely lady at the pub. Oh, this is how good stories start. My mind just isn't the same as an Ogla. Probably because it's like way smaller. Also, you did lose your wife, so that probably affected it slightly. Once the repairs are finished, we'll go to Alexandria. I have my doubts that she will actually do anything. Whatever happened to Baku, eh? Also, Vivi doesn't even knock before he comes in the room. Jeez. still live here? Yes, they do, in fact. We have to go to the theater district. District. <laughs> like how disappointed Zidane is at the start of that. Teach me, Mogster, and this will give you the synthesis tutorial. Which I didn't mention in the last town. But if you're gonna do a bunch of synthesis in this town, you should buy you should buy, excuse me, a couple of extra items even if you already have them, because duplicates allow you to do synthesis. Well not necessarily du duplicates, but having an extra version of the item allows you to do synthesis with that item and still have it equipped for the ability gain. There's a letter for Zidane. I'm opening a little theater in an alley here. A bartender pal of mine is quitting the saloon and getting into showbiz. All right. That does sound like fun. Anything else? I just mail? Okay. I want mail. I'm sure you do. But for now, we're going to save. And the next video is probably going to be entirely just wandering around Lindblom. Because it's Lindblom and that's how this works. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.